One is the loneliest number that you'll ever do. That's why I'm coming back with episode number two. Get it on! What is up, everybody? It's I, SG80, come to you from Glorious Shadville. And yes, that is correct. Today is episode number two of my Honeyland Weekly Roundup type of show so thank you so much for tuning in and if you like this sort of thing again just bite-sized content as quickly as possible i will try to keep the rambling to a minimum although i'm not doing it right now but if you do like this sort of thing hit that like button hit that sub button it will do a lot for me i am trying to hit 500 subs to get my uh next honeyland giveaway get to the next honeyland giveaway and then at obviously a thousand it's gonna be a huge honeyland giveaway so help me reach those goals and I will help you get some stuff. Let's get into it, everybody. First off, we're talking about HXD. And as you can see, over the last week, the weekly chart is up on your screen right now. We have seen a bit of a decline. However, there has been, there, there is a positive. There has been a bit of a bounce back as we see that it did hit a low of about 7.1 cents. And we are at about the eight and a half cent mark. So things are trending in the right direction. Along with the things that are coming, it's going to be up and up from here. Not financial advice, just my personal opinion. Floor pricing. Boom, boom, boom. Anti, one of the Honeyland members in Discord has come up with this and does this for us. So thank you to him and a shout out to him. Here are the floor prices that, uh, that we're seeing. Generation Bs, Zone 1 Bs through 8. We're seeing anywhere from 138 to 980. So that is, you know, pretty, pretty good. And I mean, if you're looking to keep things cheap, you certainly can with zone, even zone three. Why not grab yourself a couple zone three Bs at the floor? This was as of yesterday. So floor pricing might have changed, but definitely do go and check that out. Um, as we can see here, price of Solana, 150 as of yesterday. And eight and a half is where we're sitting right now with HXD. Lands, we see 11,000. Zone two is actually cheaper. Whoa, whoever is seeing this or, you know, maybe this is already gone, but... 9,000 HXD for a zone two land compared to 11,000 for a zone one. Not too bad of a bargain if you were able to pick up this zone two piece of land. And then we have generation queens. Here we are, uh, 12.99 for these virgins, level 10, and then moving on up from there. So big shout out to Anti for his contribution here and bringing this to us. Hit him up on X A N T I T H E i nft anti and then at anti the i nft we do have an airdrop coming folks tune into this do check out hxd airdrop .honey .land for all the information that you need um some of the things have not been released yet but uh do be sure to get in here start reading up on this and making sure that that you are you know, potentially trying to maximize the points that you get for this airdrop. It is, I believe, the first 5,000, uh, the top 5,000 of the leaderboard for this, and that will be getting part of this airdrop. So get in early, start uh, start working on it, and don't miss out. Moving on to Sabona. I hope, I hope, I hope that, that their final game on the 27th kind of ends on a high note. Uh, we've been on a bit of a skid over the last little bit. Um, but they are pretty much locked into third place overall in the HT Premier Liga. I probably butchered that, so please forgive me. But there is a game next Saturday, so tune in. Be sure to get into your Honeyland on the 27th. Game day, you do get that extra free spin for some free HXC. Get in, get that extra spin, and if they end up actually winning the game, then you get one more free spin for the day. So why not actually get in there and get those free spins and coming towards the end Corey does have his not another web 3 gaming show his podcast he did drop a an episode episode six on the 17th so a few days ago four days ago as you can see uh with icy from i believe he was from wolf Dow. so do tune in check this out sub to the channel have a listen it's some pretty cool information and of course, for those of you here for Honeyland specific stuff, be sure to check out the At Play Honeyland YouTube channel where Corey drops his massive AMAs. Um, his last one was, again, on the 16th, 17th. Um, it might still be going on. I kid, 
but as you can see it was about two and a half hours and Corey just dropped some gems and answers on answers on answers to all of your questions uh did i mention that he answers a bunch of your questions so yeah be sure to tune into that one especially if you're specifically looking for honeyland content and uh yeah you know what why not check out this guy's youtube stuff that's my stuff at shack gamer 80 on youtube uh like i said i am trying to get to 500 subs for the next honeyland giveaway and then my ultimate goal for the end of the year is the thousand mark where it's going to be an even bigger giveaway so tune in for that help me get there and help me continue to bring you this sort of content if you like it hit that like button let me know what you think in the comment section below and that wraps things up for episode two of uh, the honeyland minute i don't know what we're going to call this you know what let me know what you think i should call this and i will see you as i stream monday wednesday thursday evenings at about 7 p.m eastern and again on saturday mornings between 8 and 9 a.m starts hope to see you there i'm on twitch and youtube during the stream so hit me up follow me sub do all that nice stuff i'm on x at chat gamer 80 hope to hear from you that's it desire sg80 come to you from glory shadville as always stay healthy stay safe a lot of love i'm out peace